All right, let's move on to a threat that is closer to Earth. Vigilante white dudes. Boo! Yesterday, the arguments at the Kyle Rittenhouse trial wrapped up, and now the jury has to decide whether he'll go to prison or become Trump's running mates in 2024. Meanwhile, down in Georgia, they've begun the murder trial for the three men charged with chasing down and killing Ahmad Arbery last year. Now, for obvious reasons, this trial is getting a lot of national attention, but the lawyer for one of the defendants, well, he seems to have a big problem with who is paying attention. An explosive morning in the trial of the three men accused of murdering Ahmaud Arbery with a still smoldering racially charged debate spurred on by defense attorneys over black pastors in the courtroom. Defense attorney Kevin Goff objecting to Reverend Jesse Jackson's presence in the gallery. How many pastors does the Arbery family have? Um, we had the Reverend Al Sharpton here earlier, uh, last week. Which pastor is next? Is Raphael Warnock gonna make, uh, be the next person appearing this afternoon? We don't know. With all due respect, Your Honor, the seats in the public gallery of a courtroom are not like courtside seats at a Lakers game. Hmm. All right, first of all, of course this trial is not like a Lakers game, right? The jury has 11 white people and only one black guy. That's basically the opposite of any basketball team. And secondly, I'm not saying that this guy is racist, but when you're representing a guy who killed a black man just for jogging in the wrong neighborhood, it's not a great look to be pointing into the gallery and going, hey, this black guy doesn't belong here. We should do something about that. Come on, Jasper, you wanna do it again? And thirdly, black pastors have been supporting families in need from the beginning of time. Why are you shocked by this? They, they show up for everything, whether it's kids killed in gang violence, or whether it's a civil rights issue, it doesn't matter what it is, they'll show up. Hell, if you need them, they'll even show up for emotional support at your kid's spelling bee. Lord Jesus, please show this dumb little kid how to spell platypus. His family's been through enough. Mm, amen and amen. What I'm confused about, listen, I grew up in Georgia. Everybody is a pastor. Um, <laughs> everybody's a pastor. What are you talking about that you don't want pastors here? Everybody in Georgia's a pastor. Also, how am I supposed to trust a Southern white man that don't want the Lord in the room? <laughs> you don't want one of God's servants. Yeah, I, I, you're right, I don't get it. It'd be different if like Jesse Jackson was in there taking up a collection for a building fund. So they're not taking up a collection. It's not like they're in there preaching. They're so you're saying it could have been worse? It could have been way worse. They could have brought a whole choir in there with them. Because if I'm a black pastor coming to that trial, I'm bringing in a whole black, I'm bringing in a whole choir and tambourines, and they're going, they guilty, they guilty. That's what I'm doing if I'm a black pastor down there. I'm bringing a choir in and being like, George, tell your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. This man is guilty. Woo, yeah. I would start a sermon every time I walked in the place. They're just sitting there being quiet. 